what if, what if Amazon's on the listing? Should I sell it? Uh, will Amazon share the buy box with me, right? And, and, and all those types of questions that deal with buy box, because we all know the majority of sales go through the buy box. So what happens if Amazon is actually on your listing? Hey, what is going on Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners. Bob Schneck with you today from All Go Online Retail. Very excited to be here. I thought I would hop on and do a really quick video all about Amazon and the buy box. Now that's a question that I get constantly, especially from beginners, you know, what if, what if Amazon's on the listing, should I sell it? Uh, will Amazon share the buy box with me, right? And, and, and all those types of questions that deal with buy box, because we all know the majority of sales go through the buy box. So what happens if Amazon is actually on your listing? Uh, what happens if you're selling it and Amazon jumps on the listing? And I'm just gonna let you know right up front, I've got a very strong opinion of this. If you are new, if you are just getting started, here's my advice to you. As I teach you, okay, how to select the right products to sell, you want to put everything in your favor that you possibly can. So one of the things you want to look for to see if Amazon is on the listing. And if they are, I'm just going to tell you up front, you know what? Don't do it, okay? Uh, don't try to compete with Amazon in the beginning. Now, as you get a little experience under your belt, yeah, you can actually go out there and compete. Uh, part of the product selection, once you understand what's going on, is being able to do a little bit of research uh, with the tool that I call Keepa. Keepa is that tool that I always talk about that allows us to look backwards. And so by looking backwards at a particular product, we can actually see whether or not Amazon's on the listing. Have they been on it consistently? Are they on and off of it? What are they actually doing? And so there's a lot of different elements that come into play. So what I'm gonna do is teach you to kind of look backwards right now and see what history tells us so that you can make a more informed and educated decision, all right? But again, my advice is if you're just getting started and you look at a product, if Amazon's on it, you might wanna skip that one, move on to the next, because remember, there's hundreds of millions of things that we can actually sell. So let me go ahead and turn on my screen share and go to my computer. All right, let's do this. And I, I just went out and I did a little research. I found, I think, four products this morning I'm going to show you uh, and, and show you kind of how I analyze them, all right? So here's the first one right here. This is called Glade for Pets, uh, activated carbon training pans. I guess that's so your puppy doesn't pee everywhere, all right? Now, let's just take a look at a couple of things. First off, I want to show you that this has multiple variations. And so when you're looking at multiple variations, one of the things you want to realize is that Amazon might be selling one of them and not the other variation. So you might find out in this case, the 14 count, maybe Amazon's on that listing, but if we go look at the 30 count, maybe they're not. So again, you want to be able to understand what you're seeing here. Also over here on the right-hand side, you can see it simply says ships from and sold by Amazon. So what I would tell a beginner is, you know what, just move on to the next one. It's not worth it right now in the beginning because as a beginner, and, and, and I, wanna, I wanna help you create that foundation for your business so that you have success immediately, so you have sales the, the very first day your products go live. And, and I know that sounds a little bit uh, crazy to say that, but I can absolutely promise you that if you want me to teach you how to do it. But let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm gonna come down here and see, this is Keepa right here. This is Keepa, it's got tremendous information. I'm gonna actually show you a couple of really important things about it so that you can begin to look at it. So the first question is, is Amazon on the listing? Obviously they are because you can see that it says shipped and sold by Amazon, all right? So the question is, how long have they been on the listing? So when you're looking at Keepa, and again, if you don't have Keepa on your computer right now, you need to go get it, okay? You just gotta have it. It's an absolutely essential tool for success on Amazon in my opinion. Uh, I do have a couple of videos that kind of explain how to do it if you want to go look for those. But 
you can see this, this area down here, which is sort of uh, ye yellowish or goldish, that indicates that Amazon is on the listing. And as you can see, they've been on pretty consistently. There's one little tiny part right there where they weren't on it. So again, that's something that, that you gotta be aware of. Now, the next question is, is Amazon sharing the buy box when it's appropriate? Or when, when a seller, such as yourself, is selling new using the FBA platform and match the buy box price, is Amazon sharing that? Because that's a big question. Some things they do, some things they don't. But this takes the guesswork out of it. So let's take a look here. As we can see right here, as you scroll over these, right, it will tell you what's going on. So right there in the very beginning, it says Amazon is selling it for $4.73. The buy box is being won by Amazon at $4.73. So let's keep going down here. Okay, all of a sudden now there's a new third party FBA seller. So that's somebody that is selling the same product. Okay, they're using the FBA platform. It's brand new, but as you can see, their price is $5.53. So that right there eliminates them from any potential of Amazon sharing the buy box with them. And as we go down here, you can see in every situation right here that there are new sellers, but they're all priced above the, uh, the buy box price. So that right there eliminates them. So on this particular item, we can't really tell if Amazon is willing to share the box. Let's go back over here a little bit and see. Uh, nope, yeah. Okay, so we see that. All right, but, but again, there's, there's a 30 count. So let's click on the 30 count and that will change all the information. It still ships and sold by Amazon. So let's come down here. You can see the graph has changed a little bit. All right, so Keepa will actually give you graphs for every individual item. But let's take a look right here. All right, so in this case, Amazon 498, buy box 498, uh, buy box 350, Amazon 350. So again, it's one of these situations where this is actually a product that I'm just going to tell you, I wouldn't even go after it. Why? Because uh, it, it doesn't, you know, Amazon's been on it consistently, even though we don't know for sure if Amazon will share. One of the ways to test that would actually be able to uh, go buy, you know, five of these and send them into Amazon via FBA, match the Amazon price if, if the margins will work because sometimes the margins are just so low that people cannot match the buy box price because if they did, they'd be losing money. But in this case, I probably wouldn't do it. All right, so let's go to the next one here. This is, okay, a blender bottle. You've all seen the blender bottles before. So let's take a look at what it tells us here. Uh, this is a blender bottle. It's 28 ounce, it's black, all right? Over here it says ships from and sold by Amazon. Okay, another situation. We see that there are five new sellers on this one. And you can see here's the Keepa graph again. Now, I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger and you can do that by simply clicking on the sellers themselves. Who are selling the products? You can see here's a list of the people selling it, the five individuals. So let's take a look at what the graph is telling us. So we start over here on the right. Amazon 788, buy box by Amazon 788. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the black one that's used. Don't need to know that. Okay, so let's come down here, 788. It's pretty consistent. Amazon is always in stock. Okay, so here's a situation where it goes white. That means Amazon does not have it. All right, uh, let's see what they're doing here. Third party seller 799, Amazon 788. So it looks to me like a, a third party seller like you or I tried to come in and Amazon just lowered the price. Okay, so here's another example. Look at this. Third party seller, $3, I'm sorry, $7.99. Amazon's selling it for $7.99. But look who won the buy box, Amazon. So that tells me right there that Amazon's not really being fair in this situation. So even if you did match the buy box price, they're not going to share it with you. Uh, Amazon's a little bit lower right there, 788, uh, 788. See, Amazon's not sharing the buy box at all. So, so this, again, this one, I probably wouldn't do. But let's, let's take a look at something. This is black. Um, let's see if it changes if we switch to something else. Let's do blue, I like blue. So if we click on blue, 
it's going to come up again. It changes all the information it's still shipped and sold by Amazon. So they're currently winning the buy box and let's come down here and see what's going on. All right. So third party seller, 835, Amazon 835, Amazon's taking the buy box. Uh, let's see, Amazon 835, yeah, it's pretty consistent right across the board. Amazon's always there. All right, so let's see what that one is. Oh, oh, here's, look at this one. This is interesting, okay? You can see Amazon is $8.44. The third party FBA seller, meaning they, they've done all the requirements is $8.35. So they're, what is that? Nine cents less than Amazon, but look at who Amazon awarded the sale to. They still took the sale, all right? So you've got to pick the battles. And see, the reason this is important to do, because if, if you're just out there picking stuff and you really don't know how to do that analysis backwards, you know, you could get stuck with a whole bunch of inventory. And in that case, you can see, even if you lowered the price, Amazon still wasn't going to let you win the buy box. So understand as a beginner, when you're first learning this stuff, I'm going to tell you, if you see Amazon on the listing, you know what, just move on to the next product. Don't get emotional about products because there's so many we can pick from. All right. So that's blender bottles. Let's go on to what do I have next? Let's see. This one, okay, a dash rapid egg cooker, six egg capacity. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, let's come down here. Again, ships and sold from uh, Amazon. Okay, so there you have it. It's a, it's a light foam green, it looks like. Okay, let's come down here. And again, I'm gonna blow this one up a little bit just so we can see it better. All right, so what do we have going on in this one? All right, well, look, at there's a big, huge gap inside here right? Where Amazon is not on the listing, but there's also something very interesting there. So let, let's start over here. So we can see Amazon 1499. All right. They're taking it. Amazon buy box 1499. Uh, there's a third party seller, but Amazon's still taking the buy box. Uh, let's see Amazon. Uh, oh, look at this. Another exact situation. No, I guess it's not. It's different. And the third party sellers are $19.95, Amazon $6.99. So Amazon's taking the buy box. Let's see what we got going on here. Not worried about used, Amazon, Amazon. Okay, so you see that there's a buy box. Now I wanna, I wanna teach you something here as well. So you'll notice we step over here. Amazon's off the listing and you can see the little, the little graph that talks about buy box disappears. Okay, and so here's what happened. If you understand Amazon's uh, Amazon's uh, philosophy that the seller, I'm sorry, the buyer is the most important thing. If, if you're trying to gouge, right? If you're trying to gouge your, your buyer, Amazon's buyers, because there's nobody else selling the product. Well, Amazon's going to call you on it and they're not going to award you the sale. It's going to be basically buyer beware. Here are the people that are selling it. You figure it out, but we're not going to award or recommend a sale for you. So that's what's going on here because the price was $19.99 and then all of a sudden somebody bumped it up to $34.99 when Amazon disappeared and because the price was gouging, Amazon just got rid of the buy box. No buy box. All right, so you can see as we come back here, all of a sudden there's a third party seller, still no buy box. Oh, all of a sudden, there you have it. Again, the uh, FBA seller, $19.99, 20 bucks, but Amazon, $16.99. So, all right, so that's, that's that one. Um, but again, I noticed that there were different colors, right? So again, different colors, different variations. So let's take it. Let's take a look at the red one here. Uh, see what the red one shows us. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Okay. In this particular situation, ships from and sold by Amazon. Okay. So Amazon's currently winning the buy box. Let's come down and see what the graph tells us. All right. So I'm gonna get rid of the use. So we don't need to see that. All right, so here we have it. Buy box sixteen ninety nine, Amazon sixteen ninety nine. Uh, it jumps up to Amazon twenty two or twenty ninety two, Amazon buy box. Again, all right there. Same thing. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. All of a sudden, Amazon disappears. So all the data disappears because nobody's selling it. So here we have Amazon nineteen ninety nine. Uh, here's a situation. Look at this one. Again, this is what we want to look for. Okay. Uh, Amazon selling it for $19.99. The buy box won by Amazon for $19.99, even though 
there is a third party FBA seller at $17.52. So for whatever the reason, Amazon is not sharing the buy box on this. So again, this is great information because you don't want to end up buying inventory. Let's go check out the yellow one. You don't want to buy inventory that uh, you're going to get stuck with. Okay. And so as we, as, as I teach you how to select products to sell, the whole idea is know before you go, know that you're going to sell, know how much you're going to sell. And, and being able to do this kind of research is absolutely critical to your success. So let's come down here. I clicked on the yellow one. So let's see what we have going on with the yellow one. Uh, all right. So Amazon 1999, there's a third party seller at 39.99. Obviously Amazon's not giving it to them. Uh, third party seller. Oh, okay. So again, here's another situation uh, where Amazon is 19.99 and the third party seller is 19.95. So so they're actually better, better price. However, Amazon awarded themselves the sale. So again, this is one that by doing this research ahead of time, you actually can find out whether or not you're going to be rotated in the buy box, whether Amazon's being fair. Now, I know people say all the time, well, that's not very fair. Yeah, you're right. It's not. But you know what? It's Amazon's world. And you can whine and cry and complain all you want. It's still Amazon's world. So my point is, don't get all, don't be one of those negative people that blah, blah, blah. Um, just learn to do the research, right? And, and find out if Amazon's sharing. If they're not sharing, then, then jump for it. Go for it, right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep going here. Uh, these are Libby um, coffee mugs, okay? Actually sold these for a while myself. Uh, this one is sold by Sunsific and fulfilled by Amazon. Okay, so currently at this moment, Amazon is not winning the buy box. Now, I don't know if that means that they've never won the buy box, if they've never sold the item, or if it's a temporary, they're rotating the buy box. So again, this is why we have to do our research. Okay, so let's come down here. And again, I'm going to click on the offering listing. Uh, it'll show us that there are seven people that are, uh, are in this right now. Okay. And okay, look, as you can see, there's not a single spot where Amazon is on this listing. Okay, so that's awesome. So all of a sudden, now we found a product that Amazon is not on. Beautiful. All right. So as you can look through here, let's see what we got going on. Uh, third party FBA, 2898. Uh, third party FBA, 3098. So Amazon is obviously getting this. Now, if you want to know who won the buy box, here's something else that's kind of cool. Uh, you can actually come in here and, and click. And when you click on it, it'll actually show you this was won by Sunsific, their rating, number of reviews. So there's also great, great information on this one. So here's one that we found. Amazon's not on the listing. So then we kind of move forward with the rest of our analysis. You know, what type of return are we going to get? What can we buy it for? Uh, what's going to be the uh, what's going to be the profit margin? What's the sales velocity? And a lot of that is told down here as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, let's go to one more and see what we got in this one. Okay, Rubbermaid. Uh, this is a great product. I've sold this a lot in the past. I actually love it. Uh, so what do we have here? So in this case, sold by Park Slope Outlet and fulfilled by Amazon. Okay, so Amazon's not winning it currently. Uh, let's see what we've got coming down here. Okay, so this is an interesting, let me see if I can blow that one up for you actually. Uh, buh, buh. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so as you can see, uh, Amazon has been on this for quite some time. Now, I'm actually looking at the three-month view. If I wanted to, I could shrink it down to a month, right? If I wanted to, I could sh or move it up to a year. So you can get very, you can get a lot of history from this. And again, remember, history has a tendency of repeating itself. So let's take a look at the month view. What do we see here? All right, so we come down. And as we can see, Amazon is at $26.95. Uh, the buy box, okay, here's a great example. Amazon is on the listing, okay? And their price is $26.95. The buy box went to a third party seller uh, at $18.70, all right? So if we look at it, we can see Park Slope Outlet. That was the one we just saw, okay? So they're the ones that won this. And it also 
lets you know uh, some, well, let's just keep going down the line here. As we can see, Amazon's continuing to be overpriced. So in this situation, we find a product where Amazon is actually willing to share the buy box, even though they're on the listing. So let's keep going. Now, the thing is, is they're way overpriced. That's, that could be part of it. But let's keep going down the line. Okay, third party, 1870, third party. Okay, so Amazon now, let's take a look at what they did. Amazon dropped their price to $20.99, but they still awarded a third party seller the buy box at 1870. So let's keep going, see what we find. Okay, so what's the deal here? All right, so Amazon now drops their price to 1808, and the third party seller is 1808, but they awarded Amazon the buy box. Okay, so, so that tells me that there's rotation, that Amazon's willing to share. So let's keep going down and look. Uh, okay, what's this situation? Amazon at 1774. Third party seller 1772, but Amazon awarded themselves the sale. Okay, so they're being a little bit cagey there. Amazon's at 1856. The uh, the third party seller is at 1832, so they're quite a bit lower. And they awarded the sale to oh they awarded the sale to to a third party uh, FBA seller at 1850. Let's see, uh, Amazon 1778. Uh, Amazon 1870, third party 1868, the third party got it at 1868, uh, and Amazon 1750, third party, uh, let's see, 1748, buy box went to a third party at 1740. So as you can see on this particular one, it looks to me like Amazon, 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 third party, third party, Amazon, uh, third party, Amazon, third party. So by looking at this one, it, it, it tells me, by looking historically, uh, it shows me that Amazon is actually willing to share the buy box on this one. So this particular product, okay, the Rubbermaid, and this is probably why that I've sold it in the past, uh, is one product that I can actually compete with Amazon on, right? Why? Not, not for any other reason that they decided to, to share it. And the only reason that I know this is because I went and did the research ahead of time. So, so what I'm trying to help you understand is that in my opinion, and listen close to what I'm saying, uh, guessing on Amazon is destined to fail. You cannot guess your way to success. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you see me always talk about how do you do the analysis? How do you do the research? How do you, how do you know before you go? And, and I think that's the mantra of all go, right? Let's, let's be able to do all this research. This is why we have such a tremendous success with all of our students because we teach them to take the guesswork out of their decisions. So question is, does Amazon share the buy box? And the answer is yes, no, sometimes, maybe. The answer is there's no set answer, okay? So if, if you want to and you've got a really good product, then let me teach you how to do the research. Let me teach you how to go backwards, how to interpret what Keep is saying. Uh, if you're just beginning, then my recommendation is let's first get some cash going in your pocket. Let's get some money flow to you. Let me show you how the very first day your products go live, I can promise you sales on Amazon, put you on that path, all right? And, and, and then let's, let's build this line upon line, precept on precept. Anyways, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, great little concept here, very important topic. Uh, you can actually know instead of guessing. Uh, just let me teach you how to do the research. So, uh, oh, by the way, if you've enjoyed this, do me a favor at the bottom, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel. It's always trying to put out new videos. Uh, if you have any, uh, if you want me to do a specific video on a specific topic or subject, just leave it in the comments down below. Now, if any of this is intriguing to you, if you are thinking about starting an Amazon business and you want to start it right from the beginning, uh, and you want to learn how to get guaranteed sales the very first day your products go live, uh, or even if you are uh, an active Amazon seller and you're here, that tells me you might be missing a piece or two. So I, I want to personally invite you. Uh, I am getting ready to do a live webinar, okay? Now, when I say live, I mean it's actually live, no recorded. 
Uh, I, I stick around and answer questions. Uh, last one that I did, we, we sat and did just Q&A for almost an hour and a half. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's coming up in this next week or two. So I would love to show you what our business model is all about. It's, it's, it's time tested. It's proven. It's used by the largest retailers in the world today. I walk you through it step by step. And I will promise to teach you how to get sales on Amazon the very first day your products go live. All you got to do is click the link down below, get yourself registered, and I cannot wait to see you at the webinar. Bob Schneck, thank you very much.